Hi everyone, I'm back again to share another altered book I've been working on. Um, I bought a beautiful kit from Seneca Pond Crafts on Etsy and I've just uh, managed to find a nice black book. I just painted the spine black. Put a nice piece of the uh, paper off the kit. So inside I've tea dyed my pages and I've used tea dyed Tim Holtz Distress Ink for a change. So all the lovely tags come with the kit and I've just backed them with my tea dyed papers. The envelope with the tag in. So here we go. This is one of my doilies I make with the Martha Stewart punch. Pages are absolutely beautiful from the kit. So I've just cut into it here and made a little side pocket of uh, made my own seam binding colour using the Gillettos again. I like doing that, it's nice and easy. Used a nice stencil on the pages using Victorian Velvet Distress Ink. Nice tuck spot up here. All these little bits come with the cut. So much of it. I haven't actually probably only used half, so I'll certainly be making another journal. I'll probably use a Simon stitched signatures next time. Nice side pocket here. And down the bottom I've used one of the little tag pockets. Popped a wee tag in there. And the page. A lovely wee tuck spot here. And then I've cut into the, um, I'll take that out you'll see cut into the page up here just to make a big pocket to put a few more tags in. I did enjoy this, lots of pieces to it. Another little pocket here and I've just put a doily behind it and a heart on top of it upraised. Just to get the doily stained through nice again. Another wee side pocket with a tag. Another wee tag in the envelope. Um, the paper clip does come off and all these move so you can write behind it and then just put the paper clip back on and hide what you've written if you want. The pocket, two of the tags from the collection. Another wee tuck spot on the side, the same thing, if you take the clip off you can write underneath and then just pop it all back in. He made a wee envelope down the bottom. More journaling pages. Just leave this one playing, it's so pretty. And I've used my double tags again. piece of the page and I've just used a tag and glued over the top and then made a homemade postcard with my stamps. And a pocket. Beautiful colours. The tags in there. And I've fitted the little strips down the centres I quite like that, just adds a bit of um, lacy work to it. And cut into that page to make a pocket on that one. Just used a wee bit of the doily. And the tea dye pages. And here we go, it's another wee altered book I've been working on. Thoroughly enjoyed myself, it was a beautiful kit. Thanks very much for watching.